Hello friends, this video on diversity in living organisms part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Pisces. So the word Pisces talks about fishes. So all fishes fall under this category of vertebrates. So now if I tell you where does the fishes fall in living organisms hierarchy. The fishes fall under the category of Pisces. Pisces fall under the category of vertebrates. Vertebrates fall under the category of chordates. Chordates fall under the category of animalia. Right? Okay. So here we will talk about all types of fishes. They are mostly aquatic. We all know that. They do not live outside water. They have scales present over skin. So if you have observed a fish from uh, near, then you would have seen that there are some scales like this. Some scale like structures like this which are present all over the body of a fish. So why do they have these scales on their body? Because it protects their skin from attacks as well as injuries. They also give the fishes a cushion like feel. They also tend to reduce the water friction and encourage them to move forward. Right? So what are the advantages? Protection. One is protection. Next is cushion feel. Third is reduce water friction and help to move forward. Right now, the scales are present on the fish skin permanently. I mean, it is not that after some time or when the fishes grow old, the scales will get will be shaded off. It is not like that. Scales are permanently present on the skin of fishes. So when the scales are seen under a microscope, they are seen as concentric ring like structures. So when we actually see them under a microscope, they look somewhat like this, some concentric ring like structures. So how do the res res respiration happen in case of fishes? That means how the exchange of oxygen happens. Gills are present for oxygen absorption. For ex the way their lungs are present in case of human beings, similarly gills are present in fishes for uh, oxygen absorption. So the gills absorb oxygen from water and use the energy similar to human lungs. Movement, streamlined body and muscular tail. Now, you would have seen that fishes have got a very unique kind of a body shape. And this type of body shape is known as streamlined. What does it mean? It means that the body is designed in such a way that it helps the organism to move forward. So that it helps, so that the, the shape offers least resistance to the flow or motion through the fluid. For example, if you look at the aeroplanes, have you ever seen that the shape of the aeroplanes are also little different? And if you look at the shape of an aeroplane and if you look at the shape of a fish, you will be able to understand that why are they shaped like this? Because that particular shape offer very less resistance to their motion. So even for fishes, since they have to move in water, so there will be a lot of water resistance. So these shape actually offers less resistance and enables them to move forward. So this kind of body is known as streamlined body. So they are streamlined body and this muscular tail actually helps in their movement. They are cold blooded animals. I already spoke about what is cold blooded animals. That means they take on the temperature of the surroundings. Their body temperature does not remain constant. If the surrounding is hot, their, their body temperature will also be hot. If the surrounding is cold, their body temperature is also cold. So they don't maintain their body temperature to a constant value. They have two chambered heart. So in fishes, we have the different organs, right? So when you look at the heart, even inside the heart, we have the heart being divided into different chambers. So we, I will not talk about the exact structure of heart right now. We will talk about them in class 10. But for now, you should know that there are many possibilities. For example, in human beings, the heart is a four-chambered heart. So heart is divided into four different chambers. But in case of fishes, it is a two-chambered heart. How do they reproduce? By laying eggs. So that is the way of their reproduction. Skeleton made up of cartilage and bone. 
the outer skeleton which actually helps in protecting the inner organs. Right. So when we look at the fish, we can look at its various structure. This is the eye. This is the mouth. So what are these? These are nothing but the fins. So this one and this one, they are the fins. This is the tail. And here you have the gills for respiration. So when I talk about examples of fishes, you have a variety of fishes available both in marine water as well as fresh water. When I talk of fresh water fishes, the common ones are rohu, katla, they are all common fresh water fishes. When I talk of marine fishes, you can take the examples of pomfret, betki, they are all marine fishes. Actually, a variety of them are available. So, um, so that's all about the Pisces where we talk about fishes. Let us look at the next group that is Amphibia. Now, what does the word Amphibia means? Amphi means both. So, the organisms which live on both land and water are Amphibia. So, Amphi means both. So they live on both land and in water. Scales are absent. Instead, mucous glands are present in skin. Like how scales were present in case of fishes and what was the purpose of the scales? To protect the body and also to help in their forward motion and to give a cushion-like feel. Here we do not have scales. Instead of that, what do we have on skin? We have the mucous glands. So what is the mucous gland going to do? So the mucous glands will keep the skin moist and slimy. So purpose of mucus gland is to keep the skin moist and slimy. Why do they need to keep their skins moist and slimy? Because if it is slimy, then it will help the frog to escape away from attackers. It is suppose somebody has caught the frog. Now if its body surface is slippery, what will happen? It will be easier for the frog to slip out of the um, attacker's hand, right? And also due to this, uh, this kind of skin, which is uh, due to the presence of this mucous glands on the skin, it also attracts the females during mating season. The males cannot also attract the female species during the mating season. But at the same time, due to, for the skin being moist and slimy all the time, sometimes it leads to a very bad smell. How do they respire? The respiration happens either through gills or through lungs. Movement, hopping and jumping, you, I'm sure all of you would have seen how frogs hops or how frog moves. They are also cold-blooded, that is they do not maintain their body temperature. Three-chambered heart, so in fishes they had two-chambered heart but now they have three-chambered heart. Reproduction, they lay eggs and they generally prefer laying eggs in water. So let us look at some of the examples of amphibia, salamander, frog, toad and tree frog. So these are some of the things I am sure you would have observed that they, uh, they, you would have seen them in pond like places as well as on lands. Right? So that is why they are amphibians. Now many of you might have this question in mind that what is the difference between a frog and a toad because many of you think that they are the same but actually they are not. Frog and toad however they look quite similar but frogs are the ones which, who spend most of their time in water so they are mostly in water frogs are mostly in water whereas toads are mostly in land now frog has longer legs so the legs in frogs are longer so here they have longer legs whereas in case of toad it has shorter legs comparatively. For frog, the skin is more moist. Skin of the frog is more moist because of the presence of mucus glands. In case of toad, the skin is moist but it is less moist when compared to a frog. So these are some of the differences between a frog and a toad. 
so this this was all about amphibia that is those who can live on both land and water so these kind of animals have mucus glands over their skin so that their skin remains slimy and slippery they have lungs and gills for uh, respiration they reproduce by laying eggs thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again